Hello, accountability buddies. I'm Les, and this is another episode of Less Is More Healthy. Coming to you from the car from my diabetes specialist's parking lot. Um, I just had my appointment. I had a fasting blood sugar done for cholesterol and all kinds of other stuff. I'll do a check-in episode um, completely separate from this. But because I had a fasting blood sugar, I have not eaten all morning. And it's now 1030 and uh, it's time for me to eat something. So I thought I'd do another taste test, this time of the NYX Swedish Style Protein Bar. So it's the NYX Swedish Style Protein Bar Peanut Chocolate. Um, chocolate coated protein bar, uh, 15 grams of protein, three grams of net carbs. Let's look at the back and I'll tell you the nutrition facts. All right, serving size is one bar, 50 grams, calories, 200, total fat, 11 grams, saturated fat, 4.5, 5 grams of cholesterol, 105 milligrams of sodium, 17 grams of carbs, 15 grams of protein. That's pretty close to my one-to-one -one ratio that I like to have. Um, calcium, iron, potassium, all that good stuff. No added sugar. All right, it's got uh, protein blend, collagen, calcium caseinate, whey protein, isolate, more casein, peanuts, vegetable glycerin, cocoa butter, corn fiber, erythritol. So the sugar's coming, the sweetness is coming. All right, uh, it's got stevia in it, so it's not going to be for everyone. Uh, let's see what this looks like. So far, strong protein powder smell as soon as I open it. It's got a little bit of a hint of chocolate. Um, let's see. It looks kind of kind of like a candy bar here. Um, it's got that, you know, chocolate coated thing going off for it. A little crushed from being in my bag because I was carrying it with me. Um, all right. A little bit of chocolate. I can really, is an intense protein bar smell like that smell of vitamins and minerals you get in some protein bars. Um, oh, okay. It's got, I like whole chunks of peanuts in here. Chocolate is very waxy, very minimal chocolate fa flavor. You know, when you were a kid and your parents got you a chocolate rabbit from like the dime store, CVS, and it just tasted like nothing. The um, chocolate on this doesn't taste like chocolate. Little hint of chocolate, maybe. Not very good. The chocolate sucks. Um, what's inside? is like a gooey, almost marshmallowy texture in there um, with lots of peanuts. I'm not sure, I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's kind of nougaty. It's not as sweet as I was expecting. It's not very salty at all. Um, I will say I would not want to take this on a ride with me where it's going to be hot. This is just gonna melt into nothingness in your bag because the inside is is that kind of gooey kind of texture. You're not gonna be able to see that. It's gonna be blurry. Um, the inside is a gooey kind of nougaty texture. Um, the texture is similar to the puffed, the built puffed bars, but not as marshmallowy, if that makes sense. It's the collagen. It's not as peanutty as I was expecting. I mean, there are peanuts in it, but the peanut flavor is unexpectedly not intense. Like, there's like some caramel in the middle. It's not bad. Don't get me wrong. It's not bad. It's just not what I was expecting from a protein bar because it's kind of candy bar adjacent, but not enough like a, a regular American candy bar that I would say this is a candy bar like I did with the Fulfill Bars. This is like, I don't know. It's kind of weird, right? It's not bad, but it's not good either. Like, I'm not stoked to eat the rest of the box, but I won't be mad that I've got the rest of the box. You know what I mean? Like, you know, sometimes you buy, like, a box of bars and you're like, oh, that's, that's tasty. I'm excited to have that for breakfast. Sometimes you buy a box of bars and you're like, no, I, I'm mad I bought that. Those suck. Um, this, this doesn't suck but I'm not excited to eat this. Like, I'm not gonna eat these and be like, yeah, I'm like really excited to like, the Fulfill Bars feel like a treat. 
this doesn't feel like a treat. This just feels like I'm eating something that's candy bar adjacent because I need to eat, which this is, this is just pure fuel for your body, right? And it looks like a candy bar, kind of expecting it to feel like a candy bar, it kind of feels like a candy bar, but it doesn't taste like a candy bar. I think I like the fact that it's not so sweet. I wonder if um, a little sprinkle of salt would bring out the flavor of the peanuts a little better. Oh, um, just thinking about that. Anyway, they were buy one, get one free. So I have seven more bars. Um, I think I'm kind of indifferent on this one. You know, I'm, I'm definitely going to finish the package, but it's very chewy. Like it makes you work. You can't just suck it down. You got to chew and chew and chew some more. Um, I'm still chewing that bite. All right. It's okay. Um, I'm indifferent on it. Like, like I said, I've got seven more of them because it was BOGO. Um, I'm not mad at it. It's okay. I wouldn't want to put it in my bike bag because this is just going to melt into, like, a goo, a gel. Um, except for the peanuts. The peanuts won't, but the rest of it will melt. Um, the chocolate's not very chocolatey. The peanuts aren't very peanutty. It's just sort of, like, meh. It does have a good protein-to-carb ratio. I will give it that. Um... So good for an emergency snack. I would throw this like, actually, I'm probably going to throw a couple of them in my bag and have, leave them at work um, for emergency snack purposes because they're not awful. They're not good. They're just sort of right in the middle. So yeah, that's where we'll leave it today. Um, Nick's meh.